Milky Way is interesting in all ways, but the best thing about the Milky Way is that it's something we can see up close. Um, so as astronomers, we want to understand how the universe works. We want to understand how stars are made and how they live their lives. And if you want to study that, the best place to see it is in the Milky Way, because there we can see it with more detail than we can anywhere else in the universe. So the lessons that we learn from the Milky Way, we can apply as we look out to the rest of the universe. So the part that I'm particularly interested in is studying how gas, which is the, the stuff that lives between the stars, goes from being just gas, hanging around doing not much, to coming together, becoming cold, and eventually forming stars, and then what those stars do to that gas in the end. So the whole cycle of how the gas evolves in our galaxy is what I like to study. During the time that I was a science leader, my main research focus was studying um, conducting a massive survey of all the hydrogen gas in and around the Milky Way galaxy as viewed from the Southern Hemisphere. So we used the Parkes radio telescope, the, the multi-beam receiver on that, to spend many, 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 many nights um, mapping out the hydrogen gas in the whole Southern sky. And the, the main aims of that were to understand where gas comes from when it comes into the Milky Way. It's not, a, it's not a closed system, so we know that we need gas to come into our galaxy, but we don't know where it comes from. So we were trying to understand that. Um, and we know that gas goes out of our galaxy through massive supernova explosions, and that pushes gas away, and we wanted to be able to understand that. So those sort of, that cycle of gas coming in and gas going out was the main thing that we were trying to understand um, with the Galactic All Sky Survey. And um, I think we made some nice advances. One of the big highlights from the All Sky Survey is discovering that the galaxy is much more frothy and bubbly than we ever thought. It looks like the, the head on a glass of beer. It's got filled with tons and tons of bubbles that are formed by the, the massive stars in our galaxy. The experience that I gained from leading the Galactic All Sky Survey, I'm now putting into the, the experience that I need to have for leading the next generation of surveys. Still trying to understand what the Milky Way is doing, but doing it with the best technology available.